everybody, it's the Reno Comedy Vlog. My name is Michael. This week, pretty cool episode. We uh, did the open mics, uh, except for Sunday, because I went out of town. Me and Mo shot up to Sacramento and did a show at Oaks Park Brewing Company. Uh, shout out to Jess for giving us a spot there again. That was a blast. And uh, yeah, then also, just did a bunch of goofing around town this week. Not too much. Not too much. I'm responsible. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, man. It's just kind of a lazy day. I'm just relaxing here in my loungewear. So make sure you leave me a comment about uh, my, how perfectly smooth and silky my kimono is. All right. Anyway, enjoy. Like, like, about like, we're good? You're good. You're good. <laughs> Stop moving. Come on, Mo. Come on, I know you've been at it a while. I'm nervous. No, no. We'll do it the next one. I... <laughs> we're giving out. That's what's happening. Alright, next next week. You heard it from Fiona. No, I can do it at the next mic if you're coming. Yeah, I'll go to the next one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Kid, I basically have the brain of a 14-year-old. Like, uh, so, like, with that insight, like, I have the brain of a 14-year-old, but I'm 27, and I also have the body of a 14-year-old. <laughs> to give you, like, the visual of, like, what that looks like, that's me, drunk at 2 a.m., messaging Congresswoman AOC on Instagram, asking if I can be her ally. <laughs> She never read my message. <laughs> Woman of the people, yeah, right. Fucking read her Instagram posts. Or messages. <laughs> to be fair, all I messaged her was, uh, you up. Um... <laughs> she squeezes hard. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Oh, okay, yeah, we get it. Mo's indestructible. She squeezes hard. <laughs> Body oh, that makes sense. So when we hook, we go Brandon, like, you ever been in a good body go like triangle? This, <laughs> across the waist, uh, and then we me neither, four. man. <laughs> so all of our fat, like all of our calf and everything, just crushes not. I wouldn't necessarily call it a good yeah, one. Maybe just like you know, like I've been like a, you know, in an average body triangle. In one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got you. Fall off. I'm saying Oh, you're so much shorter now that you don't have your. I know. I'm like. You guys, uh, do you know the the recording artist Childish Gambino? Are you guys yeah. familiar? Yeah, yeah, I like some of his music. Um, some of his older stuff, he has some weird lines. Like he raps a lot about fucking Asian women, which is a bit weird. Like repeatedly, there's a line where uh, he says, "Is it racist if I say her pussy tastes like edamame?" Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> Good of you to double check on that, though. <laughs> but, like, what was weird was they passed out uh, her ashes. They passed out her ashes in these little baggies that I have only ever seen drugs come in. <laughs> there was just too many people at the funeral. Like, they had to get it organized. So <laughs> they gave everybody a little baggie and... <laughs> And I'm drunk, because, you know, funerals. And, uh, <laughs> and later in the night, me and my cousin, we're, it's a degenerate family. I'll just get that over with real quick. We sneak off to the bathroom, and we realize about halfway through the trip that we have been, uh, been snorting our grandmother. Uh, <laughs> Hello. It's just a random uh, Wednesday. I, um, God. There's something that's been bugging me. It's like, I, this is my apartment building. It's a refurbished hotel, and then all the rooms are like these little studio apartments, and I just been looking at this murder stain here for weeks and just wondering, whose is it? Who died right here, inches away from where I sleep? Over the coming weeks, I'm going to solve this mystery, and you're going to join me. If you have any clues to where I can begin, please leave them down as a comment. Sorry guys, I'm a little spacey. I've been going to a strip club a lot lately. Not just for the delicious food. 
<laughs> but there's this announcer that sounds just like Michael Caine from the Batman movies. <laughs> So every night I'm going, I'm paying the fucking entry fee just so I can hear, making her way to the stage from Burma. Let's make some noise right now for Tangerine. <laughs> and she gets to the top and she's like, why do we climb to the top of the pole, Master Wayne? <laughs> so that we can slide back down. <laughs> I'm so glad that went well, because I've just been doing that voice while I'm like doing the dishes and stuff. I'm like, oh, I want, oh, I want to bury another member of the Wayne family, I won't do it. And... <laughs> just in our fabulous green room here for our uh, Blind Onion Showcase. Uh, let's see what we got. We got some delicious drinks here that for our act, which I'll probably just end up drinking alone. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great show. I don't really have much to show that I haven't already. We're just gonna get into it. And the third mystery that I'm trying to solve right now is where does my dad jerk off at? You guys ever thought about that? Yeah. Yeah! Who said yeah? Where does your dad jerk off at? Home Depot! Home Depot? I could have sworn your dad was a Lowe's man, you know? <laughs> Better lover over there. <laughs> and despite what you may think, I actually do have a girlfriend. She's super hot. Yeah, she's a model. You guys believe me, right? Yeah, she's a model. Uh, well, maybe model's not the best word to describe her. I'd more say like doll or mannequin. Uh, she works out at JCPenney. Um, and she's always like, Luke, you write lots of songs. How come you've never written me a song? I was like, oh, you want me to write you a song? Great. So I went home and I wrote her a song. It's called, uh, I Wrote You a Song. It goes like this. my show on Friday and Oh, smart. Oh, right. So I was over at a vegan food festival and I was just like, anybody that like talked to me, I just gave them a flyer, so. We'll see if a... Uh... Both like vegan food. Well, actually, are you a vegan, Drew? My wife is. Ah. So, I mean, I'm 70% vegan. Sure. Like 70, 30, I'm, I'm an omnivore. Yeah, because you don't have much of a choice. Yeah, exactly. It's like, and I mean, there's a lot of good shit out there right now. Like, I don't know if you guys have, like, impossible meat, incredible. And then there's, like, this fake chicken patty that is better than any chicken patty I've ever had. So I'm like, 
I kind of like that more than real chicken. Technology's coming, it's catching up. Yeah. I know, and it's like the breading is the best. Gardein chicken patties is cake. Can you turn off your camera yeah. so I can say something yeah. that might get me canceled? So? This open for us, so we can just like do that. Oh, that's okay. Good. The actual entrance is up here. There's like a sign that's gonna go out. Do they use this area usually, or is it usually close off? Um, we do it for big parties. Like I've done like a few weddings back here. Yep. And oh, like cool. a beer festival in here. Uh, I'm so sad that the incestuous lady left. I was gonna <laughs> talk to her. I just, you know what my favorite kind of porn is? Uh, none, because I'm going to heaven. So, how about that? I should start with this. Uh, I'm not smiling right now. I just have a fucking overbite. So. <laughs> this is my face all the time. I'm very sorry. Uh, face is not punchable. Uh, give it up for Michael Graham. <laughs> Was that was that sarcasm or? <laughs> like okay, if you guys want to punch me, you can just Venmo me directly for that. Like I'm I'm from Reno. I'll do anything for money. <laughs> Speaking of, I am from Reno. Uh, it's uh, called Las Vegas, is sister city, but that's like if it's a younger sister that got teen pregnant. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Well, this is a city that they took away lime bikes from us for throwing them in the river. It's the drunkest city in America. You look like a Hunter S. Thompson that got fear and loathing in Thailand when you were fucking a child. I'm sorry, man. I couldn't resist that. No, it's okay. Everybody else is thinking it. You're owning it. You have the power. Well, that's going to do it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, make sure you go ahead and support all of my hilarious and fantastic friends. You're going to be able to find all their social medias tagged in the next page. Leave some comments telling me what kind of shit you want me to go check out. We got way more coming up. Oh, there we go. Uh, what else we got? Other than that, yeah, keep supporting. Make sure that you are showing this to other people. It's the only way we're going to get more eyes on these people. But thank you guys for all the support that you are doing. Other than that, I hope that you guys stay fucking sweet, bruh. I don't... I don't like that part. Well, I wonder if she's married or if she gets around And I think of how we spent our one night stand lying down Oh, yeah